So after that shit show of a finale, something just occurred to me. Maybe the reason we never get any PvP updates is because an active PvP scene would just expose how bad of a lag problem this game actually has. I'm sure any of you have been to a world with over 500 people in it in a small area, or simply just join an LMS game, the lag is actually insane. You could be connected to a world you have 6 ping to, but be playing like you have 600. There hasn't been a poll trying to update PvP since 2019, and almost every single one since 2014 has failed. Now. This is World 45 Deadman Mode. It's barely received any updates and never seen a reset despite the max players who still play it as well as basically the entire DMM community asking for a full reset because of how fun it would be. And I've always wondered why it's never been done. But maybe it's because the activity of such a large release would just shed more light on the lag problem that this multi-million dollar company has. So they're simply just never going to take a look at it. So, if we're not going to get updates to the server, or to any server, I'm going to give you one. This is my new World 45 Deadman account. From scratch, no swapping. Kill me, and I'll give you one bill OSR SGP. This series ends when I die or you guys convince Jax to reset the servers because I will happily see my account go for a reset. Good luck, guys. But before we continue, I'm very happy to announce that this video is sponsored by Ridge. The Ridge wallet is a fancy securely designed wallet that is made with RFID blocking technology. There's over 30 colors and styles, including this 18 karat gold one that I got. I actually like it because despite it being so compact, it can actually fit up to 12 cards as well as your cash. So have a little faith in the Ridge wallet because after you get yours, you can test drive it for 45 days and send it back for a full refund if you're not totally in love with it. So go to the link in the description and use the code DITABITTER for 10% off. All right, so we're just speed running agility at the moment. It took us less than two minutes to get a 12 agility with the boosted XP rates at the Gnome Stronghold. And we're just gonna get 20 agility really quickly here. All right, one lap put me to 18 agility. So another lap should put me past 20. Okay, I have 25 GP to my name and I don't have any stamina pots, so I'm not going to go waste the 10 GP going to Alcarid to train these extra 8 levels. I'll just do it here. I think it's quicker anyway because I don't have stamina pots. Alright, that's 30 agility. We'll just finish off this lap anyway for the extra XP. Make our way over to Varric real quick. Okay, going to do a quick pit stop at the Stronghold of Security. We're not going to go for the 10k, we're just going to go get the 5k real quick. Save some time and also not risk getting one hit on that floor. Forgot to set up Authenticator, give me a second. Alright, that's the first 2k. Wasted a bit of time setting Authenticator, which I didn't have on this account, so if you're following along for any reason, make sure you got your offset. Okay, and this should be our 5k right here. Let's go up and get out of here. Definitely not going to go risk uh, this next floor on 6 HP, because I do think I'll get one hit, and I don't want the series to end before it started, because I'll just rage quit. Back on the agility grind. I have no food, and I have no idea- Okay, well I guess that answers my question. I take 3 HP if I fail. That was what I was very curious about. So hopefully I don't die to the agility pyramid. All right, that's 40 agility. I'll finish up this lap, do a little quick shopping trip, and then we'll head over to Canifus. All right, we got 5k cash. I'm going to take out 3k of it to spend. All right, I spent like 1k, bought 300 bronze arrows, 50 iron arrows, an oak short bow, and a willow short bow. Not going to buy anything more, just save the GP for now. This is just so I can train my HP a bit in a second. All right, and that is 50 agility. We're going to call it here for the normal agility training. I want to head over to the agility pyramid and make my starting GP from that. Uh, first, I'm just going to go take all these arrows, all these coins, etc. Make my way over to Lumbridge and get this HP up a little bit because I can die with 10 HP at the pyramid. All right, it's been a while since I've done this, but we are going to kill cows. I'm going to safe spot cows in Lumbridge uh, just for some starting XP. I want to get my HP up a little bit. I could go do Witch's House, but I'm too lazy. And also, I think the cow hides, I can tan for leather and sell them for a bit of GP on the GE later on. So kind of killing multiple birds with one stone. So I'll just do that. 29 range, which means we can use the bone crossbow later after we're done with this pyramid. Just going to go tan this full inventory of cow hides that I got too, and I will try and sell that on the GE later. Hopefully it will sell because people always need crafting XP and stuff. 50 agility, probably going to fail the pyramid a little bit. I am 4 HP, so I am going to go get food before I do that, obviously. 21 HP as well, uh, just so I don't get one hit by the pyramid. Let's go. Okay, an hour of protection in. It's time to do another shopping trip real quick. I'll buy a couple of Vishante passes because I imagine I'll be coming back here. Um, all right, let's go. Our main source of food for now is going to be Jug of Wines. As always, they heal like 11 HP. Just bought 12 of them. Only going to have 12 of these Jug of Wines to start with. Uh, I think the store only stocks 13 at a time. I'm not sure if there's better food options for me at this point. There probably is, but I'm not really efficiently planning this whole shit out. I'm just sort of winging it and see where I'm going. An hour and five minutes in and we have made it to the agility pyramid. We are 50 agility. No idea how many times we're going to fail before we can get our first couple of agility pyramid tops. But let's see how it goes. Okay, we actually only failed once coming up here. Use one jug of wine, obviously, because it hit us for a 10. But that's our first 10k right there after like three minutes. That's really good RNG. If we can carry on like that, that is a good game for us. All right, two more jugs of wine used, but another 10k acquired. 
All right, the good thing is that we also get agility XP while we're here, which obviously it's an agility course. But um, we're at 54 now, and the higher we get, we stop failing. I think at 52, we only fail a couple times, and at 60, we fail even less. I'm not even sure how long we're going to stay here for, but that is our 30th or third pyramid top collected, so we have 32k now. Fourth pyramid top collected, we're like an hour and a half into our protection now. What's an agility level? 55. Okay, another pyramid top here for 50k. As you can see, I've only got one jug of wine left in my inventory, so I'm going to make a quick trip back to Polnavich to get some more food, just so I don't get suplexed by the pyramid. 57 agility too. All right, quick trip, another 13 jugs of wine. Let's get back to it. Oh my God, there's another guy here. Soon purge 571. Does he have PvP protection? He does. Okay, I guess we're both new accounts. I wonder what he's up to. 58 agility, which makes us fail even less. That is our seventh pyramid top, getting us to 70k now. All right, we're running out of water skin, so I'm gonna call it here for now. 162k cash from all the pyramids. We're at 63 agility, two hours, 20 minutes into our protection, but now we can actually go train our combat and stuff. All right, let's pick ourselves up a Staff of Fire real quick. We're also going to go buy a bunch of runes to go to Lava Dragon's app. I'm not sure if I'm going to get Chaos Runes cheaper from the GE or from the store, though, so I want to check that first. All right, we'll get them a little bit cheaper from here. 1.5k Chaos Runes bought. We're really committed to this. Air Runes are 8 GP. I'm pretty sure I can get them cheaper from the store, so we'll go there. All right, 1.4k left to our name. We've got some Chaos Runes, some Mine Runes, an Anti-Dragon Shield. Uh, let's head over to Lava Dragon's now. It's time. So the reason I'm going to Lava Dragons right now is because after nine and a half hours of protection, I am pretty much never going to get a chance to go back to Lava Dragons. They're in multi, they're one of the most checked spots, and I will definitely get destroyed. I'm almost getting destroyed by a Hellhound right now. With the boosted experience rates and just the fact that they give some pretty good loot on average, I should be able to get to 70 prayer and hopefully a high mage level, as well as get a lot of loot just from camp and Lava Dragons on my protection. So that's my plan as of now. Things might change, but we'll see how it goes. Damn, level 64. I wonder what he's up to. He's got an anti-dragon shield on too. Maybe he's collecting white berries or something. Damn, there's actually hella people here at Lava Dragons. I'm gonna go take off this spot uh, to the southwest then. Loads of people playing 45. Interesting. I assume they're all in their protection. And then I can get one hit if I go into melee range. So max hit is a 23 and I'm on 16 HP out of 21. So let's not do that until we got higher HP level. <laughs> that level 96 just tried attacking me, so there's already a guy doing a sweep of the lava dragons. Luckily, I've got nine and a half hours before someone can claim my life. About to get the first kill here. Uh, use like 200 mine runes, going from one to 35 mage, and then we can start using these fire bolts in a second. 20 HP as well. What's our first drop gonna be? Okay, nothing too special. Lava dragon bones, fire runes, lava dragon scales. Should have brought a pestle and mortar to grind these scales up, but I don't really think they sell anyway. Burn a lava dragon bone, 6k prayer XP right there. Already at 25 prayer, nice. All right, second kill, 41 mage. What are we saying? Grimy Guam Leafs and Highlanders. I don't know if those sell, but I'll keep them for now, I guess. Actually, no, I won't because I'm going to stack up my inventory with Black Dragon Hide, aren't I? 32 Prayer from 3 Dragon Bones Buried. Okay, Runite Bolts. I think that's a good drop. That will sell over time. That's the money right there. Buried on the bone. We're at 40 Prayer now. We can pray range. All right, that's 55 Mage. The next time we go to Mage Bank, we'll get some Nats if they're selling, and we'll be able to alk some of the drops that we get here to stay here longer. I wish I could have gone a Looting Bag from Wildy Slayer, but I didn't want to waste time with like the RNG factor of Wildy Slayer, because the time I can use at the protection at Lava Dragons is just so much more valuable, I feel like. It doesn't mean I'm going to have to bank double the amount of times, but hey, it is what it is. Lava Battle Staff. That's a thing I can alk for like 10k right there. Level 90 and full salad robe just walked past. I wonder what he's up to. All right, that's one inventory done. Let's go bank at Mage Bank, get some gnats, and come back here. 45 prayer, 58 mage, still 8 hours, 48 to go. All right, spent the last of my 10k cash stack on 49 gnats, so I hope we get some alkables. No way someone stole my spot at Lavas. Oh my god. Please tell me there's somewhere else to save spot them from. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. I can max at 23. Run, run, run. Okay, that was not good. It can still hit me. Fucking hell, what is the range on this shit? Holy fuck. Alright, we find a new dragon. I don't know how safe this is. I don't know if this one to the south can hit me. If it can, that's not good. Alright, that's 60 mage. The next time we go back to mage bank, I'll see if I can get the mage cape and alk the staff for the cash from that too. Because I don't think I'm going to be needing that staff anytime soon. Rune darts, I'm pretty sure those will sell. Damn, there's actually hella people on wall 45. Let's go. Okay, onyx bolt tips. I think those are really good. I think those are like the, one of the best drops I can get. Another inventory done, we got 8 hours of protection left, we're at 50 prayer, all this more black dragon hide, we got rune knives, rune darts, and actual runes, pretty good drop, only got 278 chaos runes left, but I think that should be enough, let's go see if we can get the mage cape one. Alright, 12 HP, 38 prayer points, and 3 jugs of wine, hopefully this is enough to get mage cape one done. Okay, this is not going as planned. 
I can't tell if that's safe spotted or not. I know there is a safe spot. It hasn't hit me in a while, but I've got four prayer points left. Damn, okay, I think I do have it safe spotted. GG. Let's see what the demon kills me, though. Alright, the black demon's spawning. Please be in the safe spot still. Damn, life's good. Alright, that- Oh, no, no, no. Please don't kill me. Oh my god, I thought that was gonna stack me out. Please don't hit anything. Okay, we're fine. Mage Cape 1 completed. Uh, let's get the Zami Cape, Alkit for some money, and go get some more runes. Pray at the statue of Zamorak, get our little Zami Cape, go collect the staff real quick. Okay, I can't even afford to buy a singular law rune right now, so we're gonna Alk this shit real quick. Give ourselves- I think it gives us like 48k if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 48k. Nice little cash stack duplication glitch right there. Buy some law runes so we can actually teleport around the game. Alright, let's get all the shit that we can sell to sell. I wonder if the leather will actually sell for anything. I'm curious. Yep, 24k, so that's 1k each. 67k off the black dehyde. I'm liking the look of this. 80k off those onyx bolts tips. 15k off that. 13k off that. Damn, we're just spawning money right now. Pretty successful trip. Not gonna sell the blood runes or the death runes. I am actually gonna go just use this cash and buy death runes instead of the chaos runes. I'm just gonna use the best spells that I could possibly afford uh, for lava dragons because I think it'll give me the best XP and GP in return. Fair enough, I guess there's actually like 100 people playing right now, well 80 people on at this time, and the death runes are actually all sold out, which means I'm gonna have to buy them from the GE for extortionate prices of, I don't know, like 322 GP each? But I do want to use Fire Blast, so hey, it is what it is. Just gonna stock up on some air runes. Okay, we have 4k air runes, I'm just gonna dump this 242k straight into death runes. Alright, got 750 death runes, we've got an amulet of power and the mystic shoes upgrade, so I'm gonna train that on defense a little bit just so I can actually use them. Let's get back to lavas. Alright, that's 20 defense. I can go back to this form of training now. Just train our mage. Got like Mystic Boots, Amulet Power, 29 mage bonus now. Lava Dragons don't really have any mage defense anyway, but I just wanted a couple extra bonuses. 53 prayer. I missed 52. Not that we're going to be using it anytime soon, but we can smite now. Alright, that is 70 mage. We're also about to be finished with this inventory. Only 200 death runes left. A couple chaos runes left. I could obviously just go back and shit, but I want to sell everything and try and buy more death runes. Fire Orbs has a good final drop to get. Black Dragon Hides, let's get out of here. I don't get a Pustle and Mortar so I can start grinding that Lava Scale shit. I don't know if it'll sell it all, but I might as well. 40k from that. 191k, I'm just gonna put it all back into Death Runes. I'm actually gonna sell these Chaos Runes too, if possible. All right, 7.6k cash. I'm gonna bring these Javs just to Alk them on the way back. And let's get back to Lavas. I don't think I'm missing anything. All right, well, I just wasted a lot of time because I teleported all the way up to the Wilderness and forgot to get that Pustle and Mortar I was talking about. Also, it is not worth alking these rune jabs, so yeah. Yo, rune full helm. I'm gonna keep that because maybe it sells for more in the G than the alk price, but if it doesn't, I'll just alk it. But that's like 20k right there. Alright, we still got 430 death runes. Damn, this guy's kitted out in full mystic, so that should be enough to come back and do another inventory without having a bank. Jesus, there's a 126 in here. He's wearing a red party hat. He puts on the smite. Did he try attacking me? He probably did, but he can't hit me, obviously. Damn, Rune Longsword on the final kill. That's exactly what we like to see. There's so yeah, no shot that Rune Longsword was going to sell. So we're just going to alk it. Let's go sell another inventory and get back up here. Another inventory done. Damn, the first guy to spot me because it's my name from the DMM finals. Gringle Patty. Don't kill me, my bro. Fuck me. That was going to waste a lot of time. Oh, no way I have to go through all these dialogue options. Another inventory done. We got 1.3k Chaos Runes to go. I'm going to quit. I'm actually going to quit. Alright, we're moving back to this spot where I can't get one hit. Damn, this guy just tried jumping me, Mr. Goons. Luckily, I've still got three and a half hours of protection left. And that is 80 magic. We're at 64 prayer as well. Three and a half hours to go. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that to 70 prayer, but just having 80 mage right now is so nice. Alright, another inventory done. We've only got 200 chaos runes, so let's go back to the G. Alright, that was a super lucrative trip. Oh my god, there's a 106 here. Uh, 36 onyx bolt tips alone is like hella cash, and I'll go sell all the other black dragon hides, buy some more blood runes, and come back up here. If you guys want to see the server active, make sure you tell your favorite streamers and YouTubers about it, and maybe they'll want to come play and bring some activity to it too. Whether they want to hunt me for the bounty, make their own accounts with bounties, or just start playing for some fun, I think it'd be a great idea. I think people like Mika and Skill Specs might be pretty keen, and realistically speaking, I don't think they'll ever actually reset the server. If they wanted to, they would have done it by now because we've been asking for ages, or given us another permanent deadman mode world and keeping this one, they haven't done that either. Probably just for the lag issues I mentioned, and PP in general doesn't seem to be where Jax has any focus on whatsoever. Uh, the least they could do is update the current server for both the current player base as well as help new players get caught up quicker. Some ideas off the top of my head would be increasing the 12 hour starting protection to 24 hours, increasing the XP rates from times 5 to times 15, or even times 20, it's not that big a deal. 
uh, they could also introduce the PvP weapons from the tournament at a rare drop rate so that would that they'd hold value and continuously give people a reason to be around in the game. I also think adding the sigils that they had in the most recent tournament at a much rarer rate so that they hold value would be a great idea, and it might result in some of the current max PKers fighting away from banks. Just a couple ideas I have, I'm sure loads of people have other ideas, but ultimately a fresh server where everyone could compete from the beginning would be the best thing in my opinion, I just don't see it happening. Alright, another 320k. Alright, pretty much 1k cost now so we can stay there for a bit. Oh shit, it's going down, the goons guy! Oh, it's the goons guy from earlier! He tried hitting the 101. And this 101 is absolutely giving it to him. Is he gonna die? Oh, he's gonna die. Welcome to. Oh, no, he's not gonna die. I'm wasting precious immunity right now. Let me hit this lava dragon while I watch this. I think he's luring this guy, you know? I don't think this goons guy would be hanging around if he didn't have a friend coming. I think goons has a friend coming. I wanna see what's going on here. Interesting. Oh, no, he's running. Yeah, he's getting out of there. He just juked him, huh? GG. Alright, goons is out of here. Meal one. But Goons is the one with the skull. He tried testing him, and he failed. No way he comes back in. He's coming back in. Oh, he tried attacking me. Ha ha ha! Come on, lad. Oh my god, Goons just got a kill. He just smoked someone out. Damn, that meal guy just tried attacking me now. He was the guy getting attacked earlier. Alright, that's 82 mage. Ice splits unlocked if I ever get DT done. Another inventory done, that is 67 prayer as well. Three more levels to get in the next two hours. I think that's actually possible. Bruh, Goons is back, and he just tried hitting me again. Bro, I've got two hours of protection, Goons. You're not getting me. Oh, Rune Kite Shield drop. Now that is the money right there. And we got a Rune Longsword in the same inventory. Oh shit, oh shit! Damn, this guy's getting piled to fuck. It's Goons and the dragon on him, damn. Dude, Goons is a straight savage. I've been seeing him here the whole time. He's got one key on him. Oh shit, Pier 1's gonna fight back now that they're away from the dragon. Interesting. Oh, he's got a rune plate leg switch? This guy's got a strength amulet. I wonder if he's gonna one take a DDS or something. Off. This guy says off. I don't know if they wanna off, though. He says no food. I don't believe him. I don't believe him. This is gonna be interesting. Oh, maybe he does have no food. Maybe he is really running for it. Damn, that would be less hype. He tried attacking me, though. The pure one guy tried attacking me when he came in. So I think he's bluffing. I think he's prepared to PK. And he's gonna fuck this goons guy up. Because he's got 20 combat levels on him. But he's getting destroyed, so I don't know what's going on. So yeah, this is the crazy things you see while on your protection. Pure one's sitting really low HP. I'm curious why. Oh, shit. One time, he's pulling up. He's definitely with one of these guys. There's no way this guy's solo. He's definitely jumping on one of them. Oh, he's jumping on Goods! Oh, Goods is running away now, damn! I wish I could follow, but I gotta keep the XP up. I'm sorry, boys. 68 prayer. Oh, shit, this 109 just tried attacking me. I don't know if there's anyone else here down south. I guess we'll find out in a second. I guess he didn't find anyone. 84 mage right there, got an hour of 20 protection. 12 HP on a lava dragon, and I ran out of runes. Well, that is GG. We're at 85 mage, 69 prayer, 32k away from 70 prayer. We'll get that just through other stuff eventually. Honestly, a really good start. I'm never going to get to come back to lava dragons, and it's just free mage and prayer XP, so using my 12 hours here was the smartest thing to do, in my opinion. 30 minutes left on the protection. Let's get to the GE, get a little bit of cash, and figure out what we're going to do next. All right, we have 84k cash to work with from our lava dragon adventures. If you guys are going to start playing 45, I'm going to link you guys to the unofficial Discord of the world. It's linked in the description. It's community run by the current active player base. And while they're all probably flaming each other when you join, they do want to see their game thrive. Use it to swap in GP, find people to trade with, or honestly just ask for some starter stuff and there's a chance someone will hook you up. The swap rate is 1 OSRS GP is worth 2.7, well, World 45 Deadman Mode GP, so 1 mil is worth 2.7 mil, if you guys are planning on swapping. Once again, I don't endorse the server or anything, and honestly, if the game does get more active, I might make my own server one day, but if you guys are going to play, might as well take advantage of the resources and the Discord that's already there. Good luck to those of you who are hunting me. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out when someone catches and kills me. Alright, I'm going to use this last 27 minutes to go do as many pyramid runs as possible. Alright, we've got about 50 more K from the time we had left with the pyramid. We've only got 5 minutes left on our protection, so there's only one more thing left to do. Alright, with 4 minutes on our protection, it is time- Oh my god, this guy can kill us in 4 minutes from now, so we should definitely be careful. 125 max PK air, but as you can see, kill 0, death 0. As soon as my deaths go to 1, the person who kills me gets paid out 1 bill OSRS GP, and this series is over. 3 minutes on the protection, let's get our ass back in the safe zone.